You won't go to, you underestimated the people. You took a gamble and you lost. Okay, we don't like this. Okay, well then we're going to do this. And that is just how it's going to be. Evidence brought to light that there is a corrupt officer or that that officer did shoot that kid on purpose. I don't care how I look, I don't care how I sound, I don't care what the beat is. I just care the message gets across. Good day, everybody. It's been a long time since I made a video. Just kind of shoot the breeze, talk to you guys, see how you're feeling. Oh, you guys have been feeling all kinds of different things lately, haven't you? you? Guys don't like some of the names we put on our videos to eye grab and press play to see if people actually look into it. Apparently, people don't like some of the titles. Uh, some people are strongly offended with the language there in some of the videos. I think it's important for you guys to realize that you're allowed to not like it. Just as much as we're allowed to make it, you're allowed to not like it. That's just the truth. So, putting the moot stuff aside, we're going to just jump right in to what's taking place in o Oakland. A whole lot of protesting, a whole lot of rioting. All over the place. Watching some videos here not too long ago, and we're talking crazy amounts of police so try to work yourselves together maybe grab some nearby uh, cities town get the whatever there is in protesters let's get them down there behind the police line therefore the police have not set a line that the people have for the time being these protesters are quote unquote surrounded it is our job to not only comprehend what has taken place here but it's also our job to look at it as honestly as we can and try to explain what we're seeing now I know Tin Man went all off about burning down the local businesses and taking care of all these violent things that were going on and calling the protesters absolutely loony and nuts and all kinds of different nifty derogatory terms and that's cool but see what I'm seeing is a burnt down McDonald's in a corporation going down completely 100% insured probably going to be even bigger and better McDonald's next year don't worry that's what I see um, now it hasn't been brought to my attention that mom and pop shops have been hit it wouldn't surprise me if they were unfortunately I we have to be rational about what we're observing we are seeing quite literally the mob mentality the power of the hive the anthill when it decides to move something Fuck moving something, mark my words, it's going to be moved. So, that's why we're seeing the heightened police presence. That's fine. The local protester of that area played their cards, the police have played their cards. Question is now, us, as a worldwide resistance network and as the global activist community, do we have a card that we can play here? Is there something that we can do to help these people? Of course there is. The anonymous has taught us anything is that no matter what you do, if you are doing it for the cause, you are most likely helping someone along the way. This is just the truth. So, I don't have to give you guys orders. You guys already know that anonymous has been taking care of things on the inside with the cybernetic activism, hacktivism, bluntly destroying cybernetic software. Who cares? Let them fight in their arena. See. Everybody's always wondered what the Worldwide Resistance Network was, and I don't think you guys have fully captured what it is. But it's a bridge between the protesting on the streets, the real world front line, and the cybernetic front line. But what is this thing called WikiLeaks, as people are continuously beginning to ask more and more, even though it was exploded years ago? People are still don't know about it. People are still appalled when they read the stuff. Okay, so always keep a rational mind about what you're observing. You know, the police officer that resigned over the shooting. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't that long ago. It was all of last summer. Police officers shot unarmed man. Police officers walked away from charges. Police officers got shot. And that happened in Canada. So I can only imagine what is possible to have happened in the States in regarding to that story. 
So yes, he had to resign. It, it's not it's not rocket scientist to anybody. It had to be done. Move on. We got what we wanted. You guys want to go out and get blood? Well, then get a dox, get an address, grab a gun, and go do it. But that is not what we want. We wanted justice. This man unlawfully did something throughout his job, and we wanted him fired from his job. Rather simple terms and conditions. He's allowed to continue to live and be a miserable human being all he wants. Leave the man alone. It's done. Okay? I want to address something, though, because it's been brought to my attention a couple of times. Um, if you guys happen to know little insights about each other, you don't have to tell me. Okay? It's not really... I personally just don't give a fuck, really. That's, that's what it boils down to. But if you guys are going to dox each other for fun, test each other's boundaries, that's cool. Don't bring me anything unless I ask for it. Okay? I don't need anybody going out of their way making an attempt to discredit anybody within this movement. Within the Worldwide Resistance Network, I don't need you guys going and attacking each other and bringing me the results and asking me to be the judge, jury, and executioner. No. I'm a facilitator. You want to call me the leader? Call me the leader. You want to call me the guy that, that put a few things in a couple of... clicked a few buttons? Call me that guy. You want to call me a piece of shit? Call me a piece of shit. Fuck, I don't care. Just don't call me late for supper. But what we're getting at here, there's people out there that have psychiatric illnesses. It's the truth. They just happen to be interested in what we talk about. That's also the truth. They're allowed to know. But I thought we, like, went to war with Hitler and Germany and, and we won that war and, and we don't classify people as idiots, dumb and smart and whatever the fucking the, the laws of eugenics apply to here. That is not us. Okay? So if you know someone that is bipolar, happens to be really active in the resistance for three, four months at a time, and then just kind of backs away and comes back, if you guys know these things, you don't have to tell me these things. I don't care. If they're active, they're active. If they're not, they're not. And a lot of them is not even people that join up to be active. There's people that literally join the resistances now because they just are sick and tired of the news and their newspaper. So they open the resistances now and they drink their coffee. Or they do what I do and light a spliff, grab a beer, and see whether or not I'm making sense. It doesn't matter. Everybody has their own hurdle in life. Be it mental, be it physical, be it emotional. I don't care. And you guys do not need to police each other on that. The rules are about as simple as I could possibly make them. Okay? This is how it goes. Don't put child porn in my shit. It's just that easy. Okay? I don't think you guys really understand the power that is given to you through the resistances now in the Worldwide Resistance Network. You want to throw up some execution videos from what's happening in Syria, what's happening in Iraq? Utilize it. You want the world to see? There it is. Put it there. I'm not taking that shit down, and none of my administrators are. That's been decided, decided so four years ago. Okay? You guys want to start putting tips on how to rig the stock market? I don't give a fuck. If you guys know how you want to share it, share it. I'm not policing that shit. To me, it's just like getting a Game Genie to a Nintendo. You had to buy it somewhere. You guys want to talk? Drop the F-bomb left, right, and center. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. I do it all the time. Speak your mind. If you happen to be amongst the intellectual few that can actually formulate a thought, an idea, and a process without using profanity, well, shit, I need a lot more like you, man. But if you're a lot like me, where you just don't give a shit, and you just move forward, and you, you express your idea, and whatever word fits, fits, well, then I'm going to need a lot more of you, too. It doesn't matter where your strength lies. Are you good in marketing? Can you spread this shit all over the place? Good. Do it. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything. You just got to click up buttons, and all of a sudden we went viral for no good goddamn reason. It's possible. It's been done over stupider shit. 
It really has. So, that's what you're good at, that's what you do. You're good at hacking, you find some really juicy information, you don't know who to give it to. That is what you report to me for. You don't report to me for other people. Well, I, I didn't fucking die and become Obama or Harper or Putin or any of these world leaders. I didn't die and become those people. I have no right to judge. Okay? Another thing. Worldwide Resistance Network? Oh, you're getting fucking teed. You're guilty by association, dude. Like, like, let's get that shit out in the mix. Let's make sure people know that that's just how that shit works. Okay? We're having a small issue with some of the strongest people we've ever met. They've realized how much time they're facing if they get fucked up. We'll be ready in about two, three minutes. So, what happens here is even worse. Because there comes a point where there's a line for everybody. Okay? I don't care how another person chooses to run their group. I don't care what actions they choose to take. What I do care about, though, is if you're actually going to go far and wide and really start discriminating against people uh, because of a friend that they've known, i got to teach you a couple of things here, okay? Do you think Operation KKK went down because we were, we were just kind of clicking a few buttons? Or do you think Operation KKK went down because a few people pretended they were racist and got into the right quarters of the Internet? Don't be a fucking moron. Tell me the truth. Do you honestly think that infiltration is impossible? The resistance has been infiltrated. We know this. We act accordingly. We don't give a fuck. Watch. Watch us. We're not doing anything on camera that's illegal. Oh, well, maybe. There was that one time when I smoked a joint, then I smoked a bong, and then I smoked a pipe. All of that was illegal, but what I'm getting at here is we're not killing fucking kittens. Although one of our videos says kills puppy at the end of the video. Very interesting video, by the way, if you actually would have watched it. That's why I, I laughed. I laughed at people that bitched at the name. I was like, motherfucker, you didn't even watch the video. You can't even tell me the content in which you are bitching about. It was fun. It was a great time. The lulls, the lulls were great. I, I can never be happier than I've always been with conspiracy and Anon's work and Tin Man's work and Lucid's work. And these, these boys here, these are, these are stone cold to the heart. They don't care what you think about what they've said. That's what makes this fun. It makes it so that even when we differ in our ideologies and we literally clash heads, we all walk in with a you can say whatever the fuck you want attitude, but as long as I can say whatever the fuck I want attitude. And then when it's done, what the fuck did we learn? Or did we just talk a bunch of hot air and walk away with nothing? The most important part is the discussions that are taking place internationally right now because of John Connor, Anonymous, the Worldwide Resistance Network, all of these different things scatterbrained all over the place. Why was it done like that? Why did I choose to integrate myself into a web and a community at a particular level? They know when you take a web in the center, like a spider, and move out, they know how to deal with that. Relatively easy, to tell you the truth. What they don't know is that coming back inwards. That they're completely, completely oblivious to knowing how to take care of. It's kind of like I was talking about earlier with all the police lines and the protesters. They got the protesters boxed the fuck in. Let's not pretend that they know. But what happens if 5,000 people just decide to go take a walk behind the police where there's only 1,000 people or 2,000 people on the inside? And the numbers here are probably all skewed, but you get my drift. What happens if more protesters surround the police than the police actually have surrounded? Ooh. Comes a little different, doesn't it? So hold your ground. Because the World Wide Resistance Network is about to do exactly what it has always promised it would do. We found the incident. We also have connections on the areas, in there. We're going to start a huge media campaign, like we always do. And we're going to make sure that the closest cities 
to open are flooded with our shit. It'll be done a particular way. Because it's going to have to stop eventually, isn't it? Someone's going to have to concede defeat. Question is, is it will it be the people? Or will it be the police? Or the establishment? We have said nonviolent, nonviolent. It has been said many times before. Are you guys ready to push the nonviolent envelope even further by demonstrating in numbers on the fly? Flash mob the fuck out of it. Hashtag flash mob Oakland, T W W R N orders. There you go. There's a nice nifty little name for you. Somebody go ahead, make that. Put a bunch of shit that's useful that the protesters are going to need on there. Find a way to leak it on the ground to the phones of the protesters. Find a way. That's the next step. I'm nowhere near technologically inclined enough to do any of this shit. But you guys are. So let's just do it. Don't do it because I told you to. Do it because you can. Do it because you get to laugh about it once it's done. And you get to say, look at those fuckers over there. They, they thought they were doing this, and then I did that, and all of a sudden, bam. Now everybody can talk again. We've done this internationally for people. It's just our turn now, that's all. Just time to wake up. That's all. But for now, I want you guys to maintain the peace to the best of your own ability. I want you guys to share as much love as you can amongst each other, because you're going to need it. I want you guys to just stop bitching about the, the moot and trivial stuff. And keep watching the weekly report. You can't stop watching the weekly report. The shit's just getting good. They just got all the all the kinks worked out. They got all kinds of different little nifty toys. New backgrounds. They got a bunch of shit figured out. It's only getting nice now. It was always good. But it's becoming a different level now. Something that probably none of us has ever envisioned. And that's why I love w working with TWRN. That is why I put this all together. And the truth is, if you know anything about Terminator, the resistance is very, very small. People from the past always believed, you know, <coughs> that the resistance was huge. But the truth was simple. There was far less than we would choose to expect. So, spread the videos, grow the numbers, and, uh, like the page, enjoy the, um, the website that, that's there. It's been updated. There's a few different things to read, a few different videos to go click and look at and enjoy. So, but until then, if you can hear this, you are the resistance. This is Connor. Out.